Okay, so special senses, um, lab stuff. All right, so there's another list of what you need to know. It's mostly eye and ear anatomy because everything else is really not there. Um, and this is going to cover both uh, gross anatomy and some microscopic anatomy. So for the gross anatomy, it's going to still be through the, di uh, the dissection stuff. So if you go back into nervous system, there is uh, taste, smell, hearing, balance, and vision. So uh, we are not doing taste because this is super creepy, okay? That's just not useful. Um, so we're not doing this, all right? So don't worry about it. Don't like it. Uh, with vision... We've got a couple of views. So for things like, um, there's really not much on this one, but it gives you a little bit more of an overview and lets you get a good look at that. This is essentially, if we were in live lab, this is what our models would look like. So um, I kind of like that. But uh, most of the useful stuff is going to be for the lateral of the eye um, and um, too many overlapping things so I don't know why they were like here's this and then here's this but whatever anyway so pretty much almost everything that we'd want to see um, in a live lab we can see with this uh, one thing that this doesn't do is it doesn't actually highlight um, the extra ocular muscles, but they are here and we can see them just as we would see them in a live one. And I believe I have the, uh, I don't remember what I put on there, yeah. So they are on the list, okay? So if you're not clear which eye muscles which, uh, the diagrams that I give you in lecture, there should be diagrams in your lab manual which if you don't want to look at it all, it's fine. You don't need to, but there are diagrams in there as well. Um, and uh, the, I mean, these are fairly clear. So if you have trouble with that, let me know because they don't actually pop up. Um, if you really want them to be labeled, then you can go back into the muscular system. And then if you go into the head and the neck, I'm pretty sure, I didn't actually check this before, but it should we go to the right angle or slash level. Yeah, they should be on here. So if you really want to double check this stuff, um, the they're here under the muscular system. Okay, so like here's the medial rectus and the superior oblique with the eye removed. So remember that if you're having trouble finding something, you can always put it into the search bar up top. Come on. Assuming that it doesn't freeze on you and then make you type nonsense. Hello, come on. There were some that um, I was typing in and then I was having trouble finding. Okay, so yeah, there is a possibility that they're not on here. I don't know why they would do that, but like I said, they are pictured and oh my god i just made it so angry um cool and oh gosh and then i mm, that didn't help hold on oh look ah, it's right here so like it's on this list so lateral rectus now does is that super helpful compared to looking at the eye it's probably not um and I will be using the nervous system one to ask you. So if you're if you're still confused, just let me know. And if there's something you can't find, let me know. Um, and I'm happy to clarify. 
uh, anything that you need clarifying. So for some reason they were like, no, they're muscles. We're going to only look at them in muscle. So they're all there, but then it doesn't really give you a good view of like, this is the lateral rectus. And it really is hard to appreciate unless you have an eyeball on there. And yet the muscular system one, there's no eyeball. So it's not ideal, but um, if you're, if you're having trouble identifying that, just let me know. Like, can you see how this is the superior oblique? It's coming very nicely in through its little trochlea, right? We can see that. And then this is the superior rectus right here. Okay, so they're, they're there. They're just not labeled on this one. And then where they are labeled, they don't actually show you the eyeball. So I get that that's not ideal, um, but I hope that um, they're straightforward enough that you won't have trouble. And there are plenty of pictures between the cranial nerve lecture and then the sensory stuff that I know you don't have yet, but, um, but you will uh, soon with plenty of diagrams of those muscles, okay? And most, I believe everything else is actually on here because I was double checking um, the list and I forgot to double check the muscles because I could see them on there and I thought who wouldn't label that <sighs> So it's always something uh, So yeah, so for the eye we're gonna use that um, for hearing and balance We're gonna go to the anterior ear and again, this is I mean a this is pretty much exactly the diagram that that we have so you can line everything up really well with the diagrams and then um, This is what our models will look like too so um, again, I made sure that everything kind of matched with, that the list matches with what you have here um, so that you're able to work through these different parts of the ear. And then, did I actually put nose on there? I don't know that I did, oh yeah. And then there's a little, little bit for smell. It's really not much, um, which is cool because here are the sensory neurons for smell. This is actually the olfactory nerve. Remember I was telling you guys that it's really short and they go separately through the cribriform plate and then the olfactory bulb is what we say is the olfactory nerve. You can really see that. So I put it on there because it ties in really well with our cranial nerve stuff, even though we wouldn't normally even actually have this because um, nobody makes this, but this is cool and it's helpful. So there's olfactory tract olfactory bulb, olfactory nerve, um, and then the olfactory mucosa is the little patch that actually has that. So that one's not too bad. It's all right there and it goes well with sensory nerves. Now for all of these, the other view is just the exact same picture of the inferior brain and you're pretty much just being shown your cranial nerves. So um, if you want to look at those two, go for it, but it's really not going to be any different than looking, studying this view for your cranial nerves, okay? You're going to honestly be better off going back up to brain or going back up to just cranial nerves and looking at the one that actually highlights all of the nerves, okay? So for the special senses, I'm going to be concentrating on the actual special senses part, and I'm saving this for brain anatomy and cranial nerve anatomy. Now there's a couple other things on here. So because there's some things that we don't see on the eye because they're only giving us a lateral view that we would normally be able to see on dissection and anatomy, um, we're gonna use this guy. So we haven't used it before, we're probably never using it again, but this little radiation signal or symbol um, takes us to the imaging area. And one of the things that you can do in imaging is look at the retina. So if you've ever had your eyes dilated and had a fundic exam, this is what they're looking at. And so this lets us see the other things that we would normally see on dissection in models that don't show up when they give us a lateral view only of an eyeball, okay? Um, and I think that I, I think I explained it pretty clearly um, because, can you see that Word document? No, okay, hold on. And I think I explained it pretty clearly because I found the symbol and put it on there. Okay, so it says click on the symbol to view the retina and find these things. And then of course, per usual, the things that you're finding are, you know, highlighted on there. 
And what those things are will make sense um, after we go through the, um, the lecture. Okay. And if you're curious, I don't have this on here. I don't think it's necessary per se. But if you're curious, this is what your eardrum looks like. And we do have that. But it's, it's not on there. So you don't have to worry about it. And this is what your eardrum looks like when it's angry. When you have an inner ear infection. So, you know, cool. Um, the other thing we're going to use, uh, because again, um, they just have those single pictures for histology. So we're going to do a combination of things. So the website that we used for the nervous system also has some good eye and ear ones. And again, even though there's multiple options, we're just going to do one. So there's two slides you're going to look at here. Which one did I say? Ah, yes. I picked the one that looks the most like an eyeball. So there's an eye slide. You can see this, right? Yes? OK, good. Um, so this is an eyeball. This is what we would be looking at. Um, and again, it's got the, a really nice walkthrough of the anatomy. Um, and I put a list on there of what you need to know. The most important thing to focus on is, oh boy, ah, there we go. The most important thing, the thing that we typically look at is the layers of the retina, okay? The rest of it is very similar between the gross anatomy and the microscopic anatomy. But the thing that we like to learn is the layers of the retina. This will make more sense after you go through the, um, uh, after we go through this in lecture, but that's gonna be the thing that we're really looking at is these microscopic layers, okay? So you'll work your way through this. Um, make sure you know the layers that I listed on the, the Word document. And then um, the other slide that you'll look at is this one of ear and this is the inner ear um, it covers the special senses for hearing and balance and so again it'll make more sense once, once we go through that um, in the lecture in, unless you've read it already in which case you might be somewhat familiar with it but basically the cochlea um, and parts of the vestibule so we can look at those special senses again these are the exact same slides we would normally look at now this doesn't have slides for taste buds and stuff. So we will be going to the little microscope here in McGraw-Hill and we're just going to look at the ones for the special senses that we don't have. So this is the um, the rest, the epithelium, the olfactory epithelium. So this is where the sensory receptors are. You kind of just have to be able to identify it um, and look at like basically say like, look, those are the ones that are the actual sensory neurons. And then um, it's always fun to look at taste buds. So this is a papilla on the tongue. And then there's some taste buds in here. And again, I like to do these on histology. Um, so I'm just trying to replicate what we would have been doing live, okay? So then you wanna be able to be like, look, it's a taste bud, which again will make more sense after the lecture. Okay, so that's the histology portion is a couple of pictures on McGraw-Hill and two slides on the website we're already using. Um, but the link is different because it's, it's the link for the special senses and not the nervous system. Okay, and again, lists of things that you need to know are on the work, uh, not worksheet, but the list. Okay, so it's a page of um gross anatomy stuff and then a couple of histology things and then i did go ahead and add that reflexes simulation and let me close this anybody have any questions about the anatomy before i close it no okay so there's too many things on my screen it's so annoying i just want to go way okay so um 
it's a reflexes stimulation and uh so you should be able to access it the same way that you access the last one um and i cannot see anything on there for being able to add more attempts so i don't know how to do that so please um go through it nice and slow and um try to uh appreciate what you're going for there oh no that's not what i wanted to do i already added the assignment i just want to show you the assignment and now i've made it angry excellent <sighs> hold on so we have to complete the reflexes simulation by before yeah the practical before the practical yeah it doesn't take that long and it's not very in depth or anything um but it's a good it's just a good little uh overview of reflexes where did you go so um it goes through them and it, it's kind of the same as the ones that we would have done in lab so again i'm just trying my best to duplicate it but mostly it's all just stretch reflexes to be honest it's it's all the different tendons you can tap to cause a stretch reflex so it's it's kind of fun um and hopefully it'll help reinforce the pathway and all that stuff so but yeah please finish it by the time that you have the lab and i don't like i said i i don't know I looked, I don't see any settings for increasing the number of attempts I can give you guys. So um, keep that in mind when you do it. Okay, I think that's everything for lab. Anybody have any questions? Um, well, I was having trouble finding some of the stuff on the nervous system. Okay. Uh, list. I don't know if you can help me find it. And then you know how you have that cadaver little picture on your end? This that guy? doesn't pop up on mine. So what I had to do was like look at your little HTTP and then I had to write it down and type it in. I oh. Don't know. I don't Weird. Know why the dissection tool doesn't pop up. But I don't anyway, know. So I can look at see. trying to make it more obvious i don't really know i haven't i haven't looked at that at all but i can i can try to make it easier for you guys to find okay okay so what haven't you been able to find so under the diencephalon the intermediate oh. mass oh okay maybe they named it something different let's see that's what i was thinking too it does have a couple of other names so it is let's see i would think you would see it on there um the other most common name for it is the interthalamic adhesion so slow at this or maybe it's just me i don't know my computer's making noises like it's working really hard right now so yeah i wonder too if it's because a lot of people are accessing it because it's also slow with me if i give up on it and close it it'll immediately give me the results and then make them go away so i'm just gonna stay here um so yeah typically if you're having trouble finding it um it's easiest to find on a, a mid sagittal section and it should be right in the middle of the third ventricle so if we can't no results found cool that's not how they have it um so i think that was what was that layer four um layer five no it's layer six it's one of the layers deeper layers so if we go to here okay so it instead of calling it anything it's just telling you that the thalamus is right there 
but the only part of the thalamus you can see on this, this is a mid-sagittal. Um, you can tell because the actual cortex isn't cut, right? Because this is the this is the same view just with our little divider right here. So this is the interthalamic adhesion, and they just have it labeled as the thalamus. So I guess they didn't feel the need to make that difference. But basically, if you're seeing third ventricle and it's thalamus, then it's pretty much going to be the interthalamic adhesion or the intermediate body. It's the same thing. It's just literally the connection between the left and right sides of the thalamus. I wonder if they have it on a different view. Too far. Yeah, I guess they just decided to just go with thalamus. Okay. Well, should we cross it off? <laughs> yeah, we can cross it off. Okay. <sighs> it's funny because on the models, it's a super easy structure to find. And like on the dissections. And yeah, it was like the... in here, they just didn't feel the need to label it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there oh. was like 10 of them that I was having trouble. Okay. Well, if, you, um, if you're having trouble finding things, you definitely have to tell me about it. Yeah. And then the, I wasn't sure if the cerebellar cortex was named differently or cause there, there's a cerebellar, but there's just a bunch of other, like, I think um, if, you, if you type it in, you'll see, there's a bunch of different options. So I don't know exactly which one you wanted to know. Okay. Um, so that might be, yeah, one of the opposite issues where it's possible that they, um, let's see. Because yeah, if you type it in, it gives you, um, I don't know, like anterior, posterior, and I don't yeah. know which one. Well, it looks like it's giving us the peduncles too, which not even the cerebellum. I buy a lot of cortex. And arteries, that's helpful. Uh, yeah. So a lot of things related to the cerebellum and not actual cerebellum. Let's see. Did they do the artwork? No, they don't. That's nice. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. I, um, cool. Well, I, uh, That's really annoying. Those are like super easy, obvious things relative to a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. um, so I might just need to add a diagram, this as a diagram, because I'm guessing all of those things are going to be on there. But if you want to email me, if any of you are having trouble finding these things, just send me an email, okay? Because I can't make adjustments if you don't tell me. Um, and I will either make a diagram where all of those things can be found and you'll know that it'll be on that diagram or I'll cross them off the list, okay? One or the other, but you gotta, everybody tell me these things so that I can fix it, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other issues? Just finding these things. Yeah. So if you want, if you'd rather I just email you the ones yeah, if, if you're having trouble, and um, I'll make an announcement too, that way everybody can send them to me. And like I said, then I can make an adjustment um, because I'm guessing that there, obviously there's things that aren't actually listed on here. Um, and so 
I can uh, I can make sure you guys have a specifically labeled one to study off of. Um, you know, because like the thing is, when we look at this stuff in lab, we don't we don't have conveniently labeled stuff, right? We just have some models and some brain dissections, and then you guys have to use label diagrams to figure it out. So I don't want to take all of these things off the list just because they're not labeled in this program, um, especially because these are kind of big things that, like the cerebral cortex or the cerebellar cortex is not a little thing, and the arbor vitae is not a little thing to not be able to find. Mm -hmm. So um, I'll just have to uh, make sure that you guys have a definitive lab-related thing to let you find them to know where you'd be looking at them. Okay, so yeah, just everybody email me, um, and I'll send an announcement so that if people haven't had a chance to watch this yet. Okay. But yeah, generally speaking, stuff like that, I mean, um, if it's something where you feel like you'd rather have me show you live, I'm fine with you waiting and asking for this, but if it's stuff where you're just having these consistent problems, just shoot me an email. Um, cause that's going to be the easiest way for me to work on the problem. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then for like the spinal cord structures, mm -hmm. um, some of them, I don't know if they're like named differently. Maybe. No. Yeah. Just email me everything you haven't been able to find and I'll figure out how to fix it. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Goals for everybody. Okay. Mm -hmm. Other than hard to find stuff, and I'll see about trying to make the dissection thing easier to access for you guys. I didn't realize that was a problem. Um, any other lab-related um, questions, concerns? So the lab exam, the, I think it's three, right? Um, that is next week. Because I saw on the syllabus, you have lab exam on April 29th and then also May 13th lab exam to be completed by Friday night. So I don't know if mine's wrong or, but I, I think it's the new one you uploaded. So. Yeah, so what I did was lab exam three will cover the nervous system and then the one for the 13th will cover the digestive system. Okay. So that way, because the way we would have done it because of time constraints, it would have been one. And I figured that's stupid. We can split them up. We have the time to do that, basically. Um, so that way you, you have a separate digestive system lab set and exam. So that's what that's for. Okay. And then lecture exam will be on the 27th, which is Monday, I think. Uh, yeah, it'll, honestly, it'll be Tuesday. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's why I'll do some extra lecturing, uh, to make sure we've actually covered all that material, um, tomorrow. All right, All right, anything else? No. You said you might add a couple more lectures on off days. Right, yeah, so that we've actually covered autonomic nervous system and special senses. All right. Because I don't want to give you guys new material on Monday. That's obviously not a good idea. I just want Monday to be there for questions, clarifications, and anything like that. Okay. All right. Okay, so yeah, I'll send announcements as far as timing of the extra lectures, and um, I'll get the last one posted. And uh, yeah, email me if you have any questions or concerns. And otherwise, I will see everybody on Monday to go over the nervous system uh, before the test. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.